uh, hello, Zyzy. Good to see you. Speaking of Zyzy, let's give Zyzy a shout out because uh, the reason we're here today is largely thanks to her. She was last seen streaming Ship of Heroes, which didn't didn't quite work out, but it was a fun experience. It was, it was fun to see. Um, anyway, so for those who uh, were not here over the past uh, couple streams, couple days or so, um, we played an old game called Lyle in Cube Sector because that was just, you know, it, it was something I grew up with. I fondly recalled the era it was from, that kind of zany early 2000s internet spirit and everything. And it was a very formative game for us, but since it was kind of old at this point, we just eventually realized that actually a lot of our friends uh, have not heard of Lyle. So we went and corrected that and exposed them to it. Um, now, I was not even aware. Jade, Jade System, hello, so good to see you. Corn Kids hype, yes, yes, it's about time. So, uh, where was I? Right, so I was not even aware of this, but as we were streaming Lyle, Zyzy went and did a web search and found not only is the author BogoZone, BogoSoft, Bogo47, just however they choose to go by, uh, not only are they still around, but they actually made a new game, which just released, this is Corn Kid 64 it literally released last night. We've had it in our library for like, 22 hours now, and most of those have been us sleeping. Um, I've only played it for like a minute or two, and even that was mostly just to, you know, do the preliminary, um, like, technical check, make sure it works, make sure it's streamable, make sure that, that the controller's working properly and the sound's going to the right channel and all that. Once it's set up, I haven't really touched it beyond that. So I am very excited to dive into this and see what uh, Bogo's been up to this whole time. So, uh, without further ado, let us go ahead and, um, go ahead and pause this music and... We can switch to the version of this scene that has the little flare there instead of the now playing because we don't need that anymore. And let us launch. Let us do it. It's finally time. After all these years, it is Corn Kids time. So right away, uh, this is why we were doing preliminary checks last night. Um, one thing we learned from last night's experiment, see this V-Sync option that says 60 hertz only? Yeah, they mean that. They mean uh, do not turn this on if your monitor is not like exactly 60 hertz you know, refresh rate. Ours is 144. And if it's over that, turning on VSync, like not only gives you a higher frame rate, it makes the game itself run uh, at 144 frames instead of like the, the 30 it's normally locked to. So it was turbo mode. It was very unplayable, but you know, we, we learned, we learned that was an oops. And then we backed out. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's why we were testing. You'll notice there are N64 compatibility settings over here. So this game actually works with, a, with an authentic Nintendo 64 controller. If you have a way to like, you know, interface an N64 controller with, uh, with your PC. Now we're not doing that. We're not playing this with an N64 controller. This is an 8-bit do, 8-bit do, have you pronounced it? I, th I think it's 8-bit do, Pro 2. Um, it's... We tried getting the getting this thing because it can interface as whatever type of controller. We tried getting the uh, Pro 2 in Switch mode, uh, like Nintendo Switch mode. It just was not working, so it's actually currently in PC slash Xbox mode. But for reasons you will see in a few minutes, that actually does not matter nearly as much as I thought it would, so that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we're not using the N64 controller because because we're not, but I really do respect the moxie that, that like they actually put this in there, that you can do this if you wanted to. That's the kind of game that, that this is. Uh, but I believe we are good to go. Ah, oh, yes, the BogoSoft logo. Uh, if you've watched our Lyle streams, you haven't seen that since, you know, two days ago. But if, if you haven't seen those, 
uh, has seen those streams, then that logo is probably the first time you've seen that logo since, you know, Lyle and Cube Sector was out. And it's it just seeing the logo just already takes you back, but or takes us back anyway. So let's go into some preliminary video options before we get started. Wrong one. Yeah, so we definitely want full screen for this. <laughs> it it doesn't look creepy to us. If it's creepy, it's like the kind of cartoony kind of creepiness. Like I'd compare it to say medieval, medieval on PlayStation One, perhaps. But it honestly just looks like a Bogosoft game. It looks like that kind of zany energy to it. But we'll see. Uh, widescreen. So. Normally, there'd be an argument for whether you want widescreen or not, whether like the resolution stretched, like there could be an argument for, say, if you were emulating an NES game and, you know, do you want it a uh, perfect one to one pixel authenticity or like the actual resolution it played on TVs and it actually looks like it did on the TVs resolution. But widescreen here, like it's the same image. It, it looks like it's literally just like there are just black bars on the sides that it's turning on and off. So uh, why would we want those? Let's go ahead and get the full image there. Um, sound on, yes. Uh, the graphics, so the graphics settings we're on 240A, so right now it looks like an upscaled N64 game for authenticity, but you know, there are, there are things you can do to that. There are various filters. You can make it blurry. You can take off the scan lines. You can do 3D mode. Let's not do that. Or you can turn it to 1080 mode or just 1080 with this weird blur on it. So this makes it look, um, you know, a lot higher fidelity. It's, it's, I'm, I'm actually a little torn between this and 240A. So this, this looks like an authentic, like we just plugged our actual N64 into like an ups, a video upscaler and just used a capture card. This looks more like we're using an N64 emulator. You know, it looks, it looks good. It looks really good, but this, this has that authenticity to it. So that, I don't know, we'll leave it on 1080 for now, but I can be persuaded to go back and forth if people have strong feelings on the matter. Uh, camera, we want normal. I've definitely messed around with that last night enough to know that's the, the way that feels right to us. Rumble on, I believe that is. I believe we are good to go. Oh boy, the nacho dream again. I sure seem to end up here a lot these days. How did I get here anyways? Uh, right. This is a dream? Eh, who cares? Nachos. So that, like I said, that's the kind of BOGO energy I, I figured we have going on here. So already I'd like to point out two things I am madly in love with just from our short experimenting just to make sure this works. The cloppy sounds, the little clip clop when he runs like that. Listen to that. That's just, that just sounds cute. And then the, the, the little meh sounds when he's talking or like when he jumps. Sometimes, there we go. I just, I love the sounds. It's just, this is such a cute sounding protagonist. He's got the little clip clops and the little mehs. He's a goat, he's adorable. He's just- I'm this, so happy one one horn hot topic looking goat he's adorable he can jump he can punch i just i love everything about this already guess we can't go that way yet yeah i know this game really wants us to just go inside but i'm just curious what else we've got around here first Especially because it gives us an excuse to clip plot more. I suppose we can't go back the way we came, right? It's not going to let us do that. No. Okay. If I go back through there, I'll wake up. And if that happens, then they're going to make me go to school. So I'm staying here. <laughs> I am so glad I checked that out. This is emphatically a BOGO soft game. If there was 
any doubt, let that settle it. This is a BogoSoft game. Oh, welcome back. I missed you so much. Because who needs school, right? Little skid sound effect if you stop. Okay, I guess that's everything. I, I know from previous experimentations you can get up on the roof. I don't think there's anything we can do up there just yet. I saw, because you can't fool me, I definitely saw there's a button right here, but I don't know of a way to like ground pound buttons yet. I think that's a power that we just don't have yet. So I believe we're going to come back to that right now. That's just let's just go inside and maybe maybe we'll learn the ability to to mess with buttons. What the heck? This ain't the Nacho Emporium. What's going on here? Hi, Sieve, Sev, have you pronounced that? I'm going to go with Sieve. Oh, and speaking of adorable mass sounds when they talk, oh my gosh, I love both of them. I love both of them. Huh? Oh, it's Alexis. Where is this place, Alexis? This is my park. What do you think? Isn't it cool? It looks like if I take one step in this place, I'll get eaten by some inflatable clown demon. <laughs> No, come on. I made up this park so we can train our corn powers. How many times I gotta tell you, ain't no such thing as corn powers. We're just developmentally crippled mutant goats. All the experts agree. No way, we totally have corn powers. Like, you know, you can do a headbutt in the air by jumping and pressing action button. That's just cause this is a dream. Normal goats can do whatever they want in a dream, and all I can do is that. And, oh yeah, this is a dream. Now all this dumb crap makes sense. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. Where'd the, where'd the door go? Oh, it's up there now. See it? What? How does that make any si- Oh, right. I almost forgot already. Uh, anyway. I made sure to put lots of sticky notes that tell you how to use everything in the park. So make sure to read all of them by pressing the action button. That's the button to the left of the jump button, by the way. I hope you know where that is. So this is why I said it really doesn't matter whether this is in like Xbox mode or Switch mode. In other games, it matters what what kind of controller uh, Steam thinks our 8-bit Doe Pro 2 is here because like, it, it uses that for like the button prompts like when it says like when it wants you to press the button that's on the 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 um nine o'clock position like does that say press y does that say press x that depends on whether you're playing with a switch controller or an xbox controller here they just don't name buttons so i guess it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether it's x or y it's the button to the left of the jump button so okay I, I can work with that. <laughs> then you can get up there for sure. Oh, look at the skipping. Oh, I'm going to skip around. Oh, did you read all of the sticky notes? Can't you just tell me what to do right now? Oh, look at that face. That's such BOGO art. Oh no, I went through all the trouble to write all those sticky notes. Please read them. Although, unlike the notes, I might tell you something else if you talk to me again. The path leading to the top is through there, in case you didn't know. See, wasn't that useful? So remember, talk, remember to talk to me twice in case you're ever stuck. Okay, and then it just repeats, okay. Yeah, so I love these two. I love their little goatee sound effects. The spirit of the dialogue, like the kind of relationship they have with each other, the way they're quipping off each other. I mentioned, you know, being a long, well, people who saw our Lyle stream especially would know I'm kind of a long time uh, BogoSoft fan. Like I marked the hell out when I saw Free Cow on the, on the TV, because I was a Free Cow fan before I even played Lyle. Um, so 
having experience with their web comics and everything, I will say their relationship kind of reminds me of uh, their other comic, KD Frenzy, it's called. It is kind of the vibe I'm getting from that, which is appropriate, and I love it. Press the zoom button to zoom out the camera for a better view from above. That'd be the button to the right of the jump button. Hold the R button to center the camera behind you. Hold the R trigger to get a closer look around. Okay, so that's... Okay. And that just goes right behind you, okay. And then that... Oh, okay. Kind of got the Mario 64 thing. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. Basic butt <laughs> God. Never change, Bogo. And I still love her skipping. That's just the cutest thing. Press action button in the air to headbutt forwards. Press L trigger in the air to headbutt down. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Hold L trigger on the ground to crouch and press jump to headbutt upwards. Kind of Mortal Kombat uppercut thing there. Hold the L trigger, press action to headbutt forward on the ground. Okay, so let's try all those. Okay, that's what we needed to do outside. So if we get to go back outside, well, now we know. Um, that's crouch. That lets us go up. Okay. Um, what were the other ones again? I'm sorry, I have a bad memory. Uh, action in the air. L on the ground to crouch. L and action. Okay, so... Aha! Okay. Gotcha. How do we read this one, actually? That's a good question. Doesn't seem to give us a prompt for that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe something else will tell us. I see a bird up here. Uh, you can only wall jump once, it looks like. So we can, like, jump up a little, but not, like, all the way. So I guess there's, I guess there's no way to get to that bird just yet, or... Where did, where did it go? There was a bird. Huh, okay. Do not headbutt this button. Yep, looks like it's time to headbutt that button. P.S. That is what's called reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. You actually are supposed to headbutt it. <sighs> well, I, now I don't want to do it anymore. That's how you get up there, okay. And that's how you read that note, too. You can wall jump off a surface even after you headbutt into it. Climb up this rock, then headbutt into the next one and jump to the ledge. That sounds like a tricky maneuver. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I like these controls. They sound complicated when you're reading the notes, but like actually playing this, it it feels very natural. Slam into the screw above, then press the action button a bunch of times to unscrew. Makes me dizzy. Oh, like, like the ground pound, you mean? And then you just... Sorry, what do you do to spin it again? Slam into the screw, but then press action button a bunch of times. Okay. That is... That is oddly satisfying. And, okay, so character design-wise, this is why we are a one-horned goat. Because the one horn makes us a gosh dang power drill that lets us do... Oh, there's fall damage. Okay, good to know. Also, our health meter is a bottle of soda. Also good to know. Yes, we are a power drill goat. I love it. You can bounce on some objects. Press L trigger to do a slam butt and bounce higher. Not this bush, though. I mean, that springy guy. Speaking of this is very obviously BOGO art. Aha! 
Nice. While on the ground, you can press the action button to punch. I can't imagine why you would want to do such a thing, but you can. Sometimes you gotta keep punching over and over to knock the enemy out. Not that I would ever condone such a thing, but they are carrying soda. Just saying. But don't we also have a... Yeah, we have a, we have a ground lunge attack too, so we can also do that. Ow. Are those like sock head enemies? What, what were those? What did we just beat up there? Press action button while swimming to dive underwater. Hold down jump button underwater to swim. You can headbutt underwater too. Don't forget you have to breathe sometimes though. We'll get back to the water in just a second. I'm not quite done on the air or on, on the land, but uh, that was a trash can. Okay, that was enlightening. I just want to see what's up here and then we'll then we'll then we'll check out the underwater area. This is an XP cube because you know we can't have a BOGO game without cubes. If you get enough to fill the XP meter, it will open up new area oh new areas, cool. Yeah, so this is definitely N64, like, rare, rare collectathon inspired. We have our life meter, we have XP cubes, we have zero uh, flowers, I guess? Zero out of five bottle caps and one out of eight trash cans? There's, there's definitely stuff. Stuff galore, stuff everywhere. You can do a headbutt even in a different direction than you are jumping in. See if you can jump past this white pillar, then headbutt the wall to the right and jump up. Do that in just a second. I want to see what's over here. Yeah, I thought so. Climb the ladder by jumping up the rungs. Whee! If you jump onto a wall, you can jump again. Yeah, that one we knew already. Grab the ledge, then jump a third time. Right. Okay, so... Headbutt this wall, jump again. Right. Oh, that would have worked if I hadn't been so far away, I think. Oh, almost. Almost. That was, you just, Sonic Unleashed, yeah. This is, oh, I'm just not getting enough jump off that. We'll figure this out. He's got it, okay, what are we missing? What are we missing? What's this say again? Headbutt even if you're doing, okay. See if you can jump past this white pillar, headbutt the wall to the right, jump up. Let's, Some practice ones here. I think it's just a matter of timing. I think I'm just jumping a little too early there. Yeah. Also bad angle on the um on the headbutt there. Ah, almost. Almost had it that time. That I just missed the wall. I will get this. It's 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 probably not as hard as I'm making this look. I think I'm just getting the timing, getting the time, just doing something wrong with the timing. But there we go. Yeah, it's the timing and the angle is what it was. I was a little late in the headbutt because you know I need to I need to headbutt at like the peak of the jump. If I if I do this and then just headbutt down here, then I'm not high enough. And it's, it's a combination of that and then also coming off the headbutt early. 
like that instead of like giving more time to do a bounce there. But you know, that's why we have this park there. So we can like work this out. You can headbutt upwards also. Just hold L trigger to crouch and then jump. Would help if I didn't miss. Not sure what that did for us, but probably something. I'm not entirely sure what I was expecting. Okay, why why do we have a mattress here? Oh, oh, Sarah says it's for like fall damage, maybe. I can land on that and it's safer to land if we ow, if we come off it later. Ow! Stop that! More cubes, because again, it's a BOGO game. You have to collect the cubes, always. So, what do we, what did, what did we get from doing that, actually? Can we go up here? Yes. Jump off a wall in the other direction to grab the ledge above. You can only do it once, though. Hey, everyone else can do that infinity times. Why can I only do one? P.S. If you're in an area where it seems you can't control the camera, just press the zoom button to zoom it back in. Then you can see everything again. Ah, okay. They hold the camera for you at like a particular angle because that's the angle that that's like the optimal one to do something like that. But if you disagree, you can just you can just override it, I guess. That's cool. I like that. Whoops, I didn't mean to go to an entirely new area without checking out what's underwater first. I was just seeing what was up here, then we were gonna go underwater. And this is what the mattress would be for, but oh, there it is. It's over there. Great timing on that. That was perfect. That's absolutely what I meant to do. Yeah, and we can just, perfect. Okay, that is what that's for. It's a shortcut back down. Or Mario 64 instincts kicking in already. You can just, you know, ground pound. This machine will give you delicious dream soda. This is important to refill your soda meter because if you lose all your soda, you die. <laughs> just like in real life. Just insert 349. Oh, too bad. Looks like I forgot my wallet. And also forgot my pants to put a wallet in. Guess I'll just have to headbutt it instead. P.S. Please don't try to get soda by headbutting the machine. That could break it. Yeah, I'm still going to do it. That could break. Oh, there's like a chance to break it or you like get a certain amount of soda before it breaks or something. How much can we refill actually? Well, we'll leave that in case we need it again. Headbutt into a crank and repeatedly press attack button to spin it. Um, but you have to have a crank on there to spin it first, I think probably. I'll come back later with a crank. Oh, that's probably what's underwater. Oh, look at the swimming animation and the sounds and everything. Oh, <laughs> oh look at him little just doggy paddle around. I love it. I love it. That's precious. Okay, so, okay, action button to submerge. And then jump button underwater to... Now it's like this, or, now these controls remind me of Croc for uh, play, for PS1, Croc Legend of the Gobos, which is a good thing to be reminded of. I'm very fond of that game. And it also means I'm not going to be out of place swimming around here because it's like my croc instincts are coming back. Like, I know how to navigate this. Just, you know, what would WWCD, what would what would croc do? 
Except I don't think Croc had an, uh, an oxygen meter. I think Croc could just, um... I think Croc could just go. Could just breathe infinitely. Oh. Okay, so lining up for the, um... For the headbutt there. Have to be at the right angle there. That's... That's gonna be a thing, but I think we can pull it off. Whoop. Not like that, though. There it is. Okay. This crazy mirror is worth 10 XP. Woes! It's not enough to just break it, though. You have to complete the challenge inside. This might be too advanced for you now. It doesn't hurt to try, though. P.S. Oh, wait. I just remembered it actually does hurt to try. <laughs> Maybe you should just stay here in the park where it's safe. Mm, nope. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Climb to the t oh dear. Okay. Right. Yeah, aren't they though? These are just these these are the vibes. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay, what do they want us to do here? Probably just climb up one of these and then switch to the other. Like so, yeah. Oh, this isn't as bad as it looks. To be fair, it looks pretty bad. Now, is this Mario 64? If I jump off, will I jump backwards? If this is Mario 6... Oh, no, you just jump in a straight line. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's why we work these things out now. Uh, now, these things... Yep, yeah, okay. Hey, we're getting it, though. The fact that we're actually doing this, it means I think we've... I think we're getting the hang of, like, how to goat in this game. This is this is definitely something you need all the um, all the controls and stuff for. Now, what the heck is going on here? What's that? You just a headbutt this. Okay, well, let's try it. Oh, okay. It's um. It's a, it's a foothold. Good to know. Ow. Now, how do we get... How do we get higher? No, That's, that just doesn't take us quite high enough. Headbutt up, maybe, Sarah says. That didn't work. That definitely didn't work. There's a mechanic we're missing here. Get around the corner twice. I can't see what's on the other side. You can try. Whoop, that didn't work. Ow. Okay, so what are we missing? 
how do you go up from a foothold? Because you can headbutt here. That's to ground pound up. That doesn't seem to do anything to go down. Yeah, we can we can always come back. And there's something up here too. Um, right. Ah! Hey, you there. Ah, oh, puppet. <laughs> expression. That's a great expression. Ah! My name is the Garbage Grump, and how would you like to be an official garbage kateer? Um, ah! it's easy. Just knock over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight garbages. Ah! to help make the world a more trashiful place. Know what I'm saying? Okay, I think I found one already. Ah! No, dog, this one doesn't count. I'm using it for things. Ah! Now get out of here. Don't come back till you're done. Ah! More garbages. There's still more garbages left in this ah! world. The ones outside this park don't count, by the way. That's not part of my hood. Okay. There's more sticky notes, so I think we're missing a mechanic. We can come back to this later when we figure out what we're missing there. But the fact that we made it that far, like the only thing that stopped us is just not knowing what you're supposed to do there. For for doing that early, I think that went pretty well. I think we're I think we're getting good at this whole goat thing. If you see something with a target on it like this, try and headbutt it. Something might happen, or it might not. It kind of depends. Oh, that. Okay, that's a target. All right. That did nothing. Maybe, uh, maybe the other one will? Ah, I getcha. I getcha. Ah, now it's starting to tell us about the stuff we, you know, we just encountered early. There are ledges in walls that you can climb onto. Climb to the end of the ledge and keep holding left to jump to the pipes. Then hold left or right while climbing the pipes to jump to other pipes. Or I could just miss the ledge entirely. You know what, let's get some more soda too. I see. It's it's just got a certain amount of soda in it. The more you do that, the more it... Yeah, okay. We'll leave that in case we need one more hit, but it looks like the next one might be the last. Did we see the note over here already, by the way? Action button? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, right! And these guys, if we can, if we can beat them without... I was going to say, if we could beat them without getting hit in return... We could farm soda off them, but I kind of have to not take a hit trying to... There we go. There's a profit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Climb to the edge of the, edge of the ledge. Oh, that's a, that's a handhold right there. Okay. So we headbutt into it. Up. Nope. Oops. So you can headbutt up and then headbutt again, but the timing on that is very strict. And also, I just pressed the wrong button. That would help if I 
you know, actually press the right button when I did that. There we go. Jump wall jump head. Robin, hello. Good to see you. Can you jump wall jump head butt and then wall jump again? I don't think so, but we'll try it next time. Right, so now we're learning about the pipes, which we were definitely early on before. Maybe there'll be a mechanic over here that'll teach us what we're supposed to do at the edge of that mirror level. Uh-oh, you got pretty high up. If you fall from up here, you could really get you could get really hurt. Make sure to find a way to climb back down or oh right, there's water down there. You can just jump into that also. A red screw is worth 3 XP. Headbutt it, then keep pressing action button to, uh, to unscrew. Action button, not jump button, right. Nice. Where does this slide lead? Oh, it just drops us straight down. Anything else over here? Whoop, whoop. Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Ah, okay. Yeah, we need something to insert onto that. It's missing the crank. Can't get in here without that. Then over there. I believe we've been on top of that thing. Yeah, BOGO games tend to have very nice music. Lyle and Cube Sector had amazing music, and I'm very impressed with this music so far. The heck is that over there? Let's try going down. Back up over here. See if there's a way to get up from over here. Yeah! Oh, hey! And now it's going to tell us about this stuff that we probably should have learned before we tried that mirror. Headbutt a boost pad and you can jump really high. You can even jump again after using it, I think. A comfy mattress will cushion your fall. No way am I touching that thing. Who knows how much hobo urines it's done soaked up. P.S. Don't worry about hobo urines. This is fresh out of the mattress factory. Eh, fine. I suppose it does have that lemony scented freshness. This looks breakable. That is another definitely Bogo art style enemy right there. what to do or anything. There's more up here, probably. Okay, so this is where we were before. So how do you get higher? Please don't just run off that ledge and fall on your face. Press the analog stick lightly to walk or tiptoe. Then you can grab onto the ledge again. Press the L trigger while on the ledge to drop down. Treasure, I wonder what's inside. Unscrew the screw with the action button to open it. P.S. It's actually a crank that's inside and you need to use it to open that door. <laughs> so much for the surprise. That's what the spinning flower thing is. It's the crank. Okay. Oh, look at the tiptoe animation. Oh, I love that. <laughs> sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yeah, okay. That slips back down here. And we can get up here. 
Hold down the L button if you need to see what is directly below you, or hold the R button and press zoom if you can't reach the L. If you can't reach the L button? <laughs> okay. Now what's up here? There... Huh. Oh, XP cube. I see you. Now how do you get that? That's going to be a tricky one, actually. Get that. Oh, I almost had it that time. I was just at it's just at a screwy angle. That one's not gonna do it. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Well done. Well, looks like I can actually get on that. Interesting. Whoop. Uh, another lovely animation. All these animations are just incredible. a sound effect. <laughs> More stuff up there, but I don't think we can get up there quite, like not this way anyway. Yeah, the arm waggies, the arm waggies. Oh, that would have been better if I hadn't missed the mattress actually. But I was close. Points, points for being close, I guess. A bomby bird will hatch from this egg. Look at that face. Headbutt him, and he will be stuck on your horn. Hold R trigger to aim, and then, pre and then press action button to fire, and he will explode. Or hold L trigger to crouch, and press action for a shorter launch. Please try to explode him gently, though. I'm trying. I, step one is I gotta, gotta actually get him. You know, I'll just do it from the air. There we go. Oh, no, no, get him off, get him off, get him off! How do I... Ow. I forgot the controls. That was bad. Head button. Hold the R trigger to aim, then press action button. Okay. Hold R, then action button. There we go. Some XP is buried underground. Don't expect me to teach you how to dig it out, though. I was kind of expecting that to work. Um, okay. 
If that doesn't do it, then I don't know, actually. do it. That doesn't do it. Then what else? Interesting. Okay, I'm kind of at a loss on that one. Ground slime. That's, that's what we're doing, I thought. Maybe ground slam from higher up? If I don't miss, that is. Well, we'll come back to that one, I guess. Anyway. Duck on it and then mash. So duck in action is your forward headbutt. The blocks, are the blocks blow upable? That's a good question. They are not. Good question, though. So here's where we were in the mirror level. We needed to figure out how to get higher. Which, yeah, you can get this high. That doesn't really, that's not really instructive of anything. There are a trick to go higher than that. That won't do it. There's some... There's some timing involved, maybe. I might be double jumping too early, because there's a, there's a difference between doing this and, like, doing this. Well, that was... How did I get that much... Ow! How did I get so much height off that jump? I almost got it without the double jump that time. What did I do differently that time? Is that just pure timing? Yeah, I, I must have just been doing it too early or something. it then. Whoops. We're not doing great health-wise, but um, we got so close last time. That was like the only thing stopping us. I, I, I want to do this. Of technical movement in this and yet it's really well done like a game like this would live and die on its controls like if if they expected you to play a game with like this kind of precision like a stage like this and the controls were just awful whoops it'd be unplayable but you know something like mario 64 of course 
like really worked because the controls were great. This, like, I'm I'm digging these controls. These feel like a good experience to me. Like, you could not do that if the controls were just not good, but they are, so... I just, the only thing that stopped us last time is I just, I think I just mistimed the double jump or something. We'll see, we'll see. Let's try it again. Whoop. This feels like the sort of game that could be really satisfying to try and speed run. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially because, as I noticed, or as I noted earlier in the stream, if you turn VSync on, it turns the it turns the frame rate limiter off, and the entire game runs at like turbo speed. So if you if you want to really speed run it, you can do that. But it's like it's dang near unplayable at that point. But you can try it. <laughs> you can definitely try it. Okay, so get up on this thing. Pass, yeah. Oh, almost, almost, I almost had it that time. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It, it, it is just the timing and I swear that was like pixels away. Got it, got it, yes, that's what we were missing. All right. Oh, you just, yeah. You just shimmy around the corner like that? You can, okay, good. Now we just gotta do that again. And now that we know how to do it, it shouldn't stop us this time. Nice. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew that was like the one thing we were missing. So yeah, I feel pretty confident now. Like, obviously there's a learning curve to a game like this. That's why they start you in an area like the park where there are sticky notes everywhere and everything. But the fact that we actually just did that challenge and like made it to the end and everything, like clearly we must have figured this out to have actually made it. Awesome sauce. Hey. I was trying to turn a profit there, and we got plus one on that, I guess. It's something. Did the soda machine restock? Like, refill its health? That'll help. Yeah, so just leave it alone when it looks like this. Come back later, it might have refilled a bit. It's good to know. I think, is that everything? Yeah, we got the crank. I think that's everything else except just going in here, right? Whoop, wrong button. And I love the spin mechanic. I love just being like, I love just being a one-horned goat who's like a power drill. That is just so satisfying to do that now that we actually like, know how to do it and everything now that we've mastered that mechanic it is just such a satisfying mechanic if you headbutt a bubble or some other floating object you can jump off of it just hit and hold down the jump button when you make contact we in the business call it the butt jump so action button does the headbutt but you want to hold jump Other six trash cans. I'm assuming they're gonna be like later on. Cause we're still in the same, we're still in the same area. I think they just mean like the entire world, like this this park and 
surrounding park areas and everything, because we still got two out of eight here. The count doesn't reset inside, so I think we're still in the park right now. Did you hear that jingle sound? That probably means there's a chameleon moth nearby. They disguise themselves as objects and will only come out if you headbutt them. They are worth 5 XP. P.S. He isn't disguised as this lamp. I already checked. I do hear that, actually. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I do, in fact, hear that. It sounds... I can actually place the sound. It sounds like it's coming from that way. art this is this is in fact i've said it before but like i look at art like this and this is just so emphatically a bogo game and i love it i love that energy if there's nothing in the air to jump off of just try using the wall instead then do a headbutt to reach the ledge you don't even have to be facing the wall to jump just being near it is enough just keep moving forward towards the ledge while near the wall and jump you know what, we're gonna come back to that. Like, I totally believe I can do it, but I just wanna see what's this way first. I couldn't move this bookshelf. See if you can do it. That really wasn't all that hard, but okay. This is a very goat parkour game. I couldn't think of anything to put here, so I drew you an octopus drinking exploding OJ. I didn't have any crayons left, so I drew it using pasta. P.S. Please don't try to lick the pasta. It took me over three hours. You know what? That's valid. That's beautiful. Yeah, right now, I think the only thing we're missing, the other trash cans, I'm confident those will come later. I don't know how to dig up that that buried XP, but... Okay, so what's the trick here? Wall jump, headbutt. That would have worked if I hadn't hit the wrong button there. I hit jump again instead of action. That's that's my one weakness. That's what I meant to do. This is a level door. You can only break through it if your level is at least as high as the number. So go find more XP. What what level are we? We are level one. Wow, we need to... The way we're getting XP and how much it's taking that, we're gonna... It's gonna be a while before we're three, I think. Wow, okay. Okay, just remember that's there. For, like, Tutorial Park, this is a big hub, actually. If you butt jump off an object, you can headbutt again and jump off more objects. I see what they want us to do here. This is the kind of thing with controls like these and moves like these. This is just the kind of thing that looks really satisfying. Just like, like watch it if it works. Like that doesn't look satisfying. It doesn't look satisfying to watch me screw that up. But if I do this and it works and like I actually pull it off, it'll look really cool. 
like that. That looked cool. This is the kind of game that looks really cool when played well, and that's a cool effect to have. You can jump off a wall in other directions, too. See if you can wall jump to the left, then headbutt that bubble. Interesting. See if we can get this first. See if we can get this first. There we go. Wall jump off... I'll we'll jump to the left, then headbutt that bubble. Oop, not like that. Mistimed, I'm a little late on that. There we go. Yeah, I was just, I was hitting the button a little late. Now that I'm doing it earlier, I think that works. Yeah, see? When you do stuff like that, it looks awesome. And I love this game just really captures that feeling that you can, like, do stuff that just looks awesome. It is incredibly sharp to play. Like, these controls. You saw the bonus level we just did inside the mirror stage, like the challenge zone. You could not do a, a level like that if the controls sucked, you know? You just couldn't do it. It just, it would not be a fun, playable experience. The fact that we did that and we won on like our second try, that just, that like, the controls are great to be, to even be able to do that. And it looks awesome. It's just got a cool aesthetic. Just, this is, this is a great game so far. It really is. I missed Bogo when they were off this whole time after Lyle, but if this is what they were working on, it's just welcome back. Wow, so good to have you back. This is, this is great. Messed that up, but, oh, uh, this is not Mario 64. If you fall too far and then ground pound, like right at the end, you still take damage. That's very good to know. The Mario 64 exploit does not work. <laughs> Ow. That is a very important thing to learn. All right, got some targets here. Oh, that just... Okay. Why do we want to spin that? Slam to the left. Spin to the right. Slam to the right. Spin to the left. It's just basic... Physignometry. Oh, because that lets us... Okay. Got another bomb bird. Oh, I'll bet that's to, uh, to open that. Or to open that over there. Interesting. So we'll need a couple of these then. Get over here. Fine, we'll do it this way. <sighs> You're like right in the corner. It should not be that tough a shot to align. Fine, we'll do it this way again. see that other one over there. There! That's what I've been trying to do all game. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, right, we can just, like... That'd be a little easier to do it that way, wouldn't it? Wrong button. Like, every time I've done something silly like that so far, it's just been me blatantly pressing the wrong button. Every time I do what I've intended to do, the controls just work fantastic. 
and that spin mechanic is still just deeply satisfying to do it just it feels good to do that it really does aha see i knew there were gonna be more trash cans just if you just keep going there's number three use headbutts to get from one pipe to the next one of these pipes leads to the top i don't remember which one that's an XP inside the cage? Do we need to just skewer a bird and take it all the way with us to blow that cage up? Just come all the way over here with it? Will it last that long if we do that? I think it will, but we have to be quick. Which historically has not been my strong point, but hey, what better time to practice, right? Sweet! The timing on that was even stricter than I was afraid it would be, but I still got it first try. That was cool. You have to admit that was cool. Yeah, that's the thing like everything about this game like when you do it just looks cool it feels cool like i i just i feel cool when i can do that not when i can do that not when i can fall off that and miss but like if if i'd actually made that it just it would have felt cool to do that feels good that feels cool see that felt cool That felt cool. If you press against a surface as you jump, you can run for a little extra height. That's maybe the only way you'll grab this ledge. Huh, she doesn't know how to spell against. Even I knew that. You run against this. If you press against a surface as you jump, needed to do in the challenge level that's the part we were missing and we just kind of did it anyway this just looks like you can just headbutt and just go straight through nice okay beefy So that sounds awesome. And now we're back to the outside part of the of the park. We still have like five entire trash cans somewhere, but there's more park to explore. here before me and since when can you fly i can't really fly i'm just floating on the draft from this portal let me try that that may not be a good idea if you fell in there it could scramble all your particles if you find a portal like this i can bring you back here if you fall to your doom or wake up so in other words i'll just come back here even if i do get scrambled so let me have a turn sorry it only works for me isn't it neat though i call it the cornhole I'm gonna stop you right there. You can go ahead and exit now, or stay if you want to find more XP. You may need it. So anyway, look for me again outside. Yeah, no, we're not done here. We've got more trash cans, more everything. Did 
There are absolutely secrets hiding in places you don't know how to think about using moves you haven't imagined yet. That sounds about right. Where did this get us? And why do we want to go over here? Well, there are more bubbles now that we know how to butt jump. I don't know why we needed to blow that wall off, though, but okay. Yeah, there are bubbles everywhere. I already saw another trash can. What did that get us over here? Why, why would we want to go over? It just takes us up there again. There's probably a way to get on top from there. I wonder if that, that doesn't look like a, no, you can't grab that ledge. No, I don't know how to do that yet, but there's gotta be a way. Birdies, birdies. will turn on multi-jump pads. If you wall jump off one of these, it will let you wall jump again. It's too hard to jump to all of them. I can't do it. This part is for experts only. Please doesn't hurt to fall on those leaves, though. Remember, you don't have to be sliding on a pad to jump. Just jump close to it, push the analog stick in the direction you want to jump, and jump again. Same applies to all wall jumps as well. Good heavens! Okay. So you wall jump from one to one off these to get up there? Oh, that was almost first try. And again, it's one of those things that if you pull it off, it just looks awesome. Ah, that's your problem. You can only headbutt once. They do not reset your headbutts. So I can only like course correct once. That's what that's what my mistake was. So I just have to be really close to these things and like not need to headbutt into every single one because I need to do that for the most part. get it it's one of those things like this is fun to keep trying this is fun to try this is fun to play it's just just it this feels just fun sweet And our reward is another trash can. And I think this is just one of those screws that gives you a bunch of experience, right? Doesn't like unlock anything. Yeah, it's just experience. But hey, it's a trash can. We needed to find those. It's also... Yeah, my reaction too, say, that like when I did that, like the successful run there, like just like going back and rewatching. This will be fun to just rewatch our own stream. And just like when you look at the, the final version of that, that actually worked, it just it looks so cool. Because everything in this game just looks cool when you do it. The moves are so like parkour -y and just. That was cool. All of this is cool. This game is cool. I really like this game. This will turn on the boost rings. Headbutt through the rings and you will go pretty far, I think. Don't forget to jump when you hit the boost pad at the end, though. Otherwise, that looks like a long way down. <laughs> Thank you for the cool gator dance. Okay, let me read this again just in case. Headbutt through the rings, you'll go pretty far. Don't forget to jump when you hit the boost pad at the end. Yeah, that's important. All 
right, so what are we doing here? We're jumping till we get that boost pad and then just going straight up. Okay. I think we can I think we can manage that. Ow. Ow. That almost worked. Okay, so what's our shortcut back there? <laughs> Alexa said there is one, right? Let's go talk to her again. sticky notes? Can't you just tell me what to do? Oh, no, we, we said this already. Okay, I guess we just have to take the long way back. All right. Maybe we should have actually gone in the portal the first time when we had the chance. Oh, no, wait, the shortcut is right through here, right? Yeah, you don't have to climb up all the way from here. We just go through here again. I mean, we still have to do most of the level again, but it's like, you know. Let's let's try that portal when we get back to it this whoop, wrong way. Get back to it this time and see what happens. Is so satisfying. Everything about this is so satisfying. This is very a type of game, and the type of game that it is is done quite soundly. Absolutely. If, if this was the type of game you're looking for, this is a fantastic one. Is it like transcendent? Like if you hate this type of game, will this, will this suddenly turn you into a fan? I, don't, I wouldn't go quite that far. It's definitely still this type of game, but it is just, it is so well done. Like if you're, if you're here for this, this is absolutely what you're here for. All right, so what's the portal do? Any questions? Where are my nachos? Uh, any other questions? Oh, that's just... Oh, it's a respawn point, because we didn't die when we fell before. We just survived and then came back. So maybe, yeah, maybe we should just like get scrambled if we fall again. It's a collectathon rare style platformer. It definitely is. That's like like even the N64 aesthetic is because this is this is clearly like a Banjo Kazooie inspired game, but it is it's good. It's really good. Okay, so how did we mess this up before? We just didn't get enough height when we were coming, so when we were coming off that. So what do we do from that? We just I think it's just a matter of timing. Definitely a matter of timing. We never did learn how to dig this up, did we? That's still a mystery.
trying to look up there, yeah. I don't see a shortcut to get back up there, which is very unfortunate. We could try going this way, maybe? Yeah, definitely. If if this is if this is giving you the feelings, then then absolutely by all means. We can get up to here, but I don't think there's a short no, I can't quite. Can't quite. didn't work see the problem with this one is if you fail it you have to like go all the way around the long way to try again all right fine we'll, we'll try again or maybe maybe we might just do that one off screen because i don't know how much patience you all have for watching us like go through this entire level like Per time we attempt that. And there's definitely other stuff to do. Let's check out the other stuff. I mean, we've still got, like, three entire garbage cans. I'm sure one of them's at the top of that area that we've been trying and failing to reach, but they can't all be, right? Oh, you are into it. Okay. Well, okay. If you're into it. If that, if the audience is cool with it, I was just kind of afraid, I guess. But all right. Well, thank you. Thank you for your understanding. Getting back, like, doing the entire rest of this level is getting smoother to, like, get back up there, though, so I'm also getting practice with that, which is cool. And it just, it feels very, again, it feels very satisfying to do all that. Okay, so you do a headbutt through the rings. You can't just, like, save your headbutt. Don't forget to jump when you hit the boost pad at the end. I think yeah, that is that has got to be, like, 100% timing. I think I was just doing it late before. I think I've just got to jump immediately after hitting that boost pad. Oh, hey, Doss. Hello. Good to see you. This game is freaking awesome so far. You came right in time to watch us keep messing up this part. So maybe like if you're going to watch like a single two minute snippet of this stream, this might not be the best part. But um, unless we do this, let's try it again. OK, yeah, there. That's what we meant to do. Got it. All right. Uh, this game, as I was saying before, just looks really cool when you do it like it, it doesn't look cool to just miss a jump and fall on your face of course but like when you do these like incredible parkour stunts and like actually make it it just looks awesome i'm gonna go back and like rewatch our own stream and like every time we actually finally make it somewhere after a few tries like the final run just looks so cool to just make all these jumps and 
You can maybe jump onto the mattress from up here, but try using those wall grab points to get back instead. Just walk slowly off the ledge to grab it, then climb to the right side. Keep holding right at the, at the end of the ledge to do a side jump. Side jump off each grab point until you get to the last one, then press crouch to slide down. Or before we do that, how about we like keep going up? Because I think there's more here, isn't there? I mean, there's another handhold right there. They wouldn't just leave that there if there wasn't. A... I just now noticed that's what those spikes are for. That's why there are spikes everywhere. Oh, Bogo, never change. Never, never change. I love everything about this. Right, so we need to get up there. And then where can we get from up here? It's kind of hard to see what's next. The good news though is if we fall down, we just fall right back down onto this thing. Spoke too soon, but I fortunately I grabbed that one. That was almost embarrassing. Okay, so can we get up there? Is there anything worth getting up there? It looks like there should be. It's hard to see, but like they they wouldn't have put this handle there if it, if you weren't meant to use it, right? No, maybe not, because like that, that wasn't even close. Like if we like almost made that, that'd be one thing, but like that was just not even close. So I don't know if there's like anything at all up there, actually. There isn't another like boost pad or anything to get you higher. No, no, nope, there's nothing else up here. Well, then where are the last three trash cans? there or if not there then oh the bubbles the bubbles the bubbles the bubbles did you ever move the dresser thing inside uh yeah there was just an xp cube behind it but i'd see the bubbles now where where is the starting point for those and where do we get like where do those lead I don't think you can reach him from here. Hmm, let's try this. You can maybe jump on the mattress from him. Try using his wall grabs. Walk slowly off the ledge to grab it. Climb to the right side. I'm right at the edge of the ledge. Then, I'm sorry, what was the, then what was the last button to slide down again? Press crouch to slide down. Right. Okay. So you walk slowly. Whoop. Slowly off the ledge. Just do a side jump and completely miss. Just like that. Perfect. A plus. Hundred percent meant to do that. to those bubbles. They look like they're part of the skybox, actually. From here, let's get a better view, see if there's... Mm, it doesn't look like you can get up to the ceiling from there. Top of that cube. I don't know if there's anything up there. 
can try it, I guess. I'm, excuse me. Did, did you all just see that? Did you, you all just saw that, right? Oh, that's the sound of the, 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 um, right. They, they mentioned that in the, the, um, in the sticky note inside. Like, there are the things that, like, disguise themselves as objects. And if you headbutt them, and then catch them again, you get XP. And the telltale, the telltale giveaway was that sound. I just didn't realize that's what it was before, because they'd only told us what that sound was, like, once we went inside, but... Okay, now we're getting slightly better at this game because I just first tried that. I guess that's what Practice Park is for, right? There's a... There's a handheld right there. Oh... Sneaky! Sneaky! Now that we know what those things are... Sneaky! Okay. Well, this has got to be something. I don't know what, but... Oh! There's our shortcut, and that's why we blew this wall off! Okay! Oh, I get it now. Now I feel a little silly going around the long way like three times, but hey, now we know. Knowing is in fact half the battle. Hey, can you... I feel like there's gotta be something up there, but there's just no way to get up there from, from where we were. I don't see any other ways to do it. Not from here, certainly. That'll take us, you know, to the next area. We were, we're not ready to be done here yet. What's inside this cube if we climb up? Assuming, you know, I don't do that. We never actually did this area, did we? I just went here and was like, no, I'm going to go underwater first. And, and left and just like never came back. Oops. Well, this would be a good place to hide like a bunch of stuff because there's an entire area we just never did. Including another... That doesn't stay out very long when you do that. It stays out a little bit, but just like just long enough. Okay, but what did that get us? Why do we want to go in here? Because there's a cube. Okay. Wrong button. All right, time to apply everything we've learned elsewhere in this level about the um, the, the wall jump into headbutt and a whole bunch of parkour moves that look embarrassing when I'm messing them up, but it sure is cool when you can like actually pull it off and do that. yellow can you break it it doesn't look it doesn't look like headbutting it did anything but i was wrong okay thank you for pointing that out uh did that get us anything or was that just like a shortcut 
can get up here, maybe. Oh, a little too far for that to work, but okay. Yeah, I think that's just a shortcut. It takes us back there, but it does... Let's try that again. Oh, almost. It's not letting me jump off that... Um, I did not mean to... I... Uh, can I reset that? Because I think if I can push it the other way, that would... Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. But now we know. So now we can do that. We can get it from this side, actually. Now we can just do that. Cool. That one's just permanently on? Okay, I'll just go over it then. Why are these like... Oh, because you can screw them probably. I don't know what screwing them accomplishes them, but or accomplishes, but we can do it. Adventure game instincts say that... That... Uh, aha! That's what it does. Adventure game instincts say that if you see something like this... Even if you don't know why you're doing this, you're, you're clearly like, you came all this way, you need to do it. Well, now we know why, because it, it, you, you get the, the, the thread end on the other side, and now we can go up. <laughs> Getting better at dealing with those things, too. Right, so this only stays out for a little bit, but should be just long enough to, to get up there. Yes, perfect. When you're a goat, every problem looks like a screw. That is the Corn Kid 64 experience, all right. So you can either go this way or we just unlocked a path over here with those threads. So let's, oh, and there's a garbage can over there too. Can't quite make it. Okay. I think we just need to go. Ah, nope. That's what we need to do. All right, another garbage can. Only two to go. Oh, that was just that. Okay. I'm not yet uh, familiar enough with this game to know the difference between the screws that like unlock stuff and the ones that are just experience. But um, both are worth having. Ah, almost. Right, you can't jump off the head, bud, is what I keep forgetting. Maybe, I think it's the color. I think the red ones are experience. And then like any other color just unlocks stuff. I think, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, did I, does it, okay, does that one actually stay like that? Not for long. This sticky note. This zip line will get you back down safely. You don't really need it here since you can also slide down the wall, but try it anyways. Well, not yet, because I don't want to go back down yet. Yep. 
This is an XP crystal. It's worth 10 whole XP. You gotta break it first. Okay. Simple enough. You might not be able to get past here yet. Don't forget to come back later. So there are moves. There are entire mechanics that we just don't have yet. And I actually believe I know what this one is. I've seen it in the trailer. I recognize this dirt block here. Eventually, we're going to get the ability to just like use our drilling powers to just tunnel into dirt surfaces like a mole. And then we just go through this, like dig through and then come out that side. But we can't do that yet. You know what? There's the other trash. There's another trash can. Then um, I'll bet. I'll bet. Like, that's how you get the the buried XP, too. And I see some handheld ledges there. We need two more trash cans, and there's one right there, and I see that ledge. I can't quite make it just... So, but Okay, we can do it like that. Okay, we're only missing one. And it's probably over there. And we're probably going to need to come back with the um the mole power for it. There. Yeah, not if I press the wrong button. Ow. Okay, well, we'll be back. We'll be back. For now, I'm basically satisfied with this stage. We... Zero out of five bottle... Were there, were there like, a, any bottle caps in this stage? Well, you know this is a rare collectathon when we've like put this much into this one stage and like we haven't even found any of the bottle caps. Seven trash cans though, and I think the last one's just gotta be a matter of coming back with the mole power. I think those I think those bubbles are part of the skybox. So yeah, I think we're done here for now. And the shortcut is right, it's this handheld. So off we go! Uh, through the other side, apparently. There we go. And now we're back here. Yeah, this trash can doesn't count. Now, now we are no longer in the park, but now we know how to ground pound. Oh, and you can just climb up this pole. Okay, that that does make that does make this go a lot faster, doesn't it? So this is simple enough, and that's going to be our next level, probably. I think we've I think what we've got here is kind of a hub world. So you go inside this store to get to that tutorial park, or we can, now that we know how to get past, well, we open the door. Actually, how do we get past the barbed wire fence? Can we just go for it? Do we go that far? Not quite. And you can't jump over it because it's barbed wire. Portal, okay. Sieve. Ach, why did you put the portal next to the dumpster? Um, well, I wanted to be sure you see that door over there. I think that'll lead out of this dream realm. Hey, I ain't leaving till I get my nachos. Um, well, I, um, had to expel all the nachos to fit the park in there, so... What? But listen, somewhere out there is a realm with infinity nachos. Infinity nachos, ah, yeah! 
We gotta get through that door first, though, but I don't know how to open it. It must have something to do with that scary symbol on it. But I don't think there's anything like that in this parking lot. There's gotta be somewhere else we can get to in this realm. Just look around. Yeah, we just opened the door. We just need to get past the fence. And don't forget your training, little corn cadet. Okay, but don't ever call me that again. Okay. Remember to talk to me if you need any help figuring out what to do. Talk to me twice, even. I don't know what to do here, though. There must be something I, can, I can't I can see from here. You need to open that freaky door. Have you been using the zoom button for a better camera view? Did you know it also works by clicking the right analog stick as well? Okay. So we need to get past this... And since this is, since it's got a barbed wire top here, you can't just climb over it. Yeah, no. So we need to figure out how to get over this. Where's our inn? The board's in the fence. Oh, ha ha! Yes, okay. Good eye, thank you. That'll do it, all right. Ew. Yeah, so anytime we want, now that we've got this hub area, we can just come back to the park. We'll do that when we have mold powers. But here's our next level, I believe. Wolo's Hollow. Oh, this, I remember this from the trailer, this song too. If you go to the store page, uh, like the one thing they showed that I remembered that we haven't seen yet besides that mole power is Wolo's Hollow. Like I, I recognize this, this area, this aesthetic, and I definitely recognize this song. It is a heckin' song too. I'm digging this. Hollow, you say. <laughs> You're adorable, okay. Whoo, an intruder has set foot on the grounds of our sacred tree. This is a grave threat to our entire town. Go home, emo. <laughs> find yourself with no home to go back to you you oh it is a goat type oh new friend all are welcome here in Aulo's hollow stay a while bring some friends or you can always use some new blood to help wash out the old piggy type influence which still festers here after hundreds of years but please remember do try and keep away from this tree we owls have important work to do and mustn't be disturbed, you understand? Oh, and also keep away from high up places like that pointy building up there. That has been rated unsafe by the Owl Committee, only looking out for your best interest. Have you got all that? Are you gonna repeat yourself if I say no? It, you sure are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the cool gator dance. I shall repeat it again regardless, so it's firmly imprinted in your mind forever. Oh, uh, thank you, Bogo. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh, bless you. Hey, over here. Need to ride to the need a ride to the top of the trees? Oh, adorable! I love this bat. 
cute bat must smooch. Haha, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> sucker. Now you're trapped up there. Um, okay. Hey, cool, we reached level two. Only, uh, a bunch more experience before we can unlock that three, level three door in the park. Oh, you know what? You know what? If the last trash can isn't beyond the mole door, I'll bet it's beyond the level three door. But I'm, I'm guessing the mole power is coming soon because you see that wall over there? That is very clearly a like, use the mole power to tunnel through the dirt and get this area. So they're, they're, they're setting us up to get that soon. But uh, for now, we are in a new area. It's been about two hours. I'm having a blast with this, but I'm getting hungry and I'm just, uh, I kind of need to go like, you know, tend to like corporeal needs, like getting food and things like that. But we are definitely gonna be coming, we are definitely going to be coming back to this because this game is awesome so far. This is everything we were hoping for and more. I am so glad Bogo's back. I am so glad they made a, they made a, Banjo 3E, I guess, but with goats, with power drill awesome goats, sauce. which is exactly what that series needed, if I'm being perfectly honest. I like, I love everything about our character here. Like, if you saw our Lyle streams, like I already was a huge fan of Lyle and Cube Sector, but like being, uh, uh, being a goat furry with a power drill horn is like the one thing that, that Lyle really needed, I think. Is just, you know, make it furrier. Now, now, now we have the perfect game. But for now, let's just, let's just save and quit. And we will be coming back to this because this is incredible. I am so glad we did this. And again, thank you. Thank you again. I will shout her out again. Thank you to Zizi Squirrel for making us aware of this game. And we will definitely be doing more of it.